everyone welcome back i hope you all are fine and safe so in this video we are going to see the solution of supplementary reading moments unit 3 ishwaran the storyteller and it is written by rk lakshman answer the questions in five to six sentences each number one in what way is ishwaran an asset to mahindra answer Ishwaran was a good domestic assistant for Mahindra. Apart from cooking and doing household chores, he was a great entertainer for his master. He was good at managing resources as he could find vegetables out of nowhere. Also never had complaint while accompanying his master. Next, question number two. How does Ishwaran describe the uprooted tree on the highway? What effect does he want to create in his listeners? Answer Ishwaran describes the uprooted tree on the highway with eyebrows suitably arced and hands held out in a dramatic way. He would begin by saying that the road was deserted and he was all alone. Suddenly, he spotted something that looked like an enormous bushy beast lying sprawled across the road. He was half inclined to turn and go back. But as he became closer, he saw that it was a fallen tree with its dry branches spread out. The effect he wanted to create is suspense and a surprise ending to every small incident. Next, question number three. How does he narrate the story of the Tusker? Does it appear to be plausible? So, answer is, he started the story of the elephant by giving a prologue in which he called elephants huge, well-fed, beast. He said that after escaping from the timber yard, the elephant started roaming about, stamped on bushes and tore up wild creepers. It then came to the main road of the town and smashed all the stalls selling fruits, mud pots and clothes. It then entered a school ground where the children were Playing. It pulled out the football goalpost, tore down the volleyball net, flattened the drum kept for water and uprooted the shrubs. All the teachers and the students were so afraid that they climbed up the terrace of the school building. According to the Ishwaran, he was studying in the junior class at that time. He grabbed a cane from the hands of one of the teachers and ran into the open. The elephant continued grunting and stamping its feet. It looked frightening. However, he moved slowly towards it. When the elephant was ready to rush towards him, he moved forward and whacked its third toenail. It looked stunned and then collapsed. This story does not appear to be plausible. Next, question number four. Mahindra calls ghost or spirits a figment of the imagination. What happens to him on a full moon night? Answer, Mahindra calls ghost or spirits a figment of the imagination because Ishwaran informed him that they were living on a burial site and kept narrating to him stories of various ghosts he himself had encountered. On one full moon night, Mahindra was woken up from his sleep by a low moan close to his window. At first, he thought that it was a cat prowling around for mice but the sound was too deep and guttural for a cat. He restricted looking outside as he did not want to witness a sight that might stop his heartbeat. But the crying became louder and less subtle. 
he could not resist the temperature any more. Lowering himself to the level of the window sill, he looked out at the white sheet of moonlight outside. There, not too long, not too far away, a dark, cloudy form clutching a bundle. He broke into a cold sweat and fell back on the pillow, panting. So here we complete the solution of unit three. If you have any doubt, query, or suggestion, let me know in the comment section. I will see you in the next video with the next supplementary reading. Till then, bye bye. Take care.